Hey, what's up friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. So today is October the 12th and today, even though I'm working, it's a very, very special day for me. And I just want to take this time to encourage someone out there. I'm not sure who exactly I'm going to be talking to. Uh, you may listen to it today. It may be weeks from now. It may be years from now. But I just hope that somebody that needs it will listen to this and be encouraged by it. Um, it's going to be, I'm going to try to make it short and quick because I, I just picked up a lot. I need to go. But um, one of the things with tracking, uh, this is one of those careers that can be really, really hard on relationships. Uh, when you come into the um, the industry and you have a spouse and you have children it can be hard on it on the relationship on the family because um, you go away from home if you are an over-the-road driver you'll be away for days and weeks at a time and uh, that will put a strain on your relationships uh, that is the spouse uh, like husband wife relationship and then maybe father children relationship and any other people that are really close to you because you won't be able to see them as much as possible even if you are a local driver it can still put um, a strain on your relationships if you're not very careful about it because you have to be deliberate in making sure that you spend time with your with your children or with your wife because uh, as a local driver you still put in a lot of hours and because you want to make more money you put in all the hours you will you will want to put in six days so that you can maximize the money that you can make but in doing that you may be also sacrificing the relationships so it's very hard for those that have relationships but it's also hard for somebody if you are somebody that would want to get into a relationship Maybe you want to start a family, you want to get married, but you get into the career and you go over the road or you start working. It can be very hard for you to find someone when you are in this career because you don't get time to socialize. So it's like most of the time, if you're an over the road driver, you are on the road. If you're a local driver again, you may be trying to make all that money. So you don't get enough time to be away to socialize in you know like events and other stuff so that means it may be hard for you to get somebody uh, to fall in love with to uh, to be married to so it can be hard in that regard and I do remember that situation when I I remember that uh, when I was still young I always had this dream that I would get married at 25 years I don't know if you if you guys were young for those of you that are a little older now if you had such dreams but I thought that at 25 surely I would be married and then my plan was to have like the first five years no kids and then maybe like at age 30 start a family and the culture where I come from really when you have parents that can support you and put you in school the way the culture is set up is set up in such a way that um, you spend your early years in school until you get to university. So uh, for us, the culture where I come from, uh, it would be like you spend the first seven uh, years in what we call primary school, and then you go to secondary school, which is four years, and then you go to high school, which is two years, and then you go into either college or university, depending on how many years those are. And so even at 25, that was still ambitious from the culture where I come from and how it used to be. Things have changed a lot, but I know the culture here in America is different. Like people 19 years, 20 years, they get married. For me, even putting my mind at 25, that was still ambitious. Um, where I, the culture I, came, I come from and the way it was, 25 was like it would be really early because when you, as I said, when you have parents that can push you through school, that can put you into school, up to university because uh, that's the way it was at least when I was growing up your parents would support you until university and then you would get out get a job when you start working and then you uh, you go uh, then you you start thinking about marriage so even the culture is different so when I came here 
that wasn't the way things are. And so when I uh, first and foremost for me dating here was was also kind of a challenge because I had to learn the culture, uh, understanding how the culture here works, uh, learning how to to deal with girls or women in this culture, and so for me that was uh, 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 something that I. I, I hadn't done before and so something that I had to learn because back home the culture is different I knew exactly how I could go uh, around in that finding someone okay so when I got into tracking it even made it uh, hard because you don't get time to socialize you are always at work even people that uh, know you or love you do not get the opportunity to see you so I understand um, and so I got to a point where you even feel like you are wondering how is this going to happen? I want to tell you that six years ago, that's why I'm saying that today is a special day. Is uh, it's, it's a special day for me because six years ago on this day, that's when I got married. We are still a young couple. We've been married for six years, and uh, I'm just loving every part of our marriage. Um, all the things that. I, I had thought about marriage where people uh, say that oh the first years are hard and what have you I'm so thankful to God I haven't had that problem and um, sometimes it blows our minds to like we are wondering it has been six years I mean it's like time just flies but I just want to encourage um, anyone out there that um, is in a situation where they are single and they are looking for someone to marry, uh, someone to be in love with. I know how it can be, especially when you're in tracking and you don't have the time to socialize with other people. So let me briefly share with you how I found my wife. I found my wife through Facebook. Um, it wasn't, uh, by the way, just a random stranger. Uh, the way I found my wife is I was going through one of our, uh, our relatives' um, uh, pictures and I saw my wife's picture and she looked beautiful and I'm like, oh, I wonder who this is. And so I decided to befriend her. And when I befriended her, uh, it took maybe like weeks before she could return. Uh, she could accept my friend request. At one point I even thought uh, she had ignored me completely. But uh, I was surprised after a couple of weeks, uh, I got a reply saying that I was accepted. And as soon as I was accepted, I reached out to her and I said, Oh, I see uh, you accepted me. Thank you for accepting me. How comes it took me, it took you so long to accept my friend request? Were you doing some research on me? Do you need me to introduce uh, myself to you? Uh, and again, as I said, because now I knew she was from uh, Uganda, from where I come from, I knew the culture. So I kind of knew what approach I can use. And so that's the approach I, I use. It was kind of like a joking way. I'm like, Where you do, did you take this long because you are doing research on me? Do you need me to introduce myself? Then she comes back saying, I don't need you to introduce yourself to me. I accepted your friend request, so let's leave it at that. And that was a huge disappointment because I'm like, wow, I just blew this up. I think I was too fast. And so I kind of felt bad that I had just gone full steam on but um so i'm like you know what let me just leave it at that since she has said leave it at that i won't even bother replying i will just leave it and amazingly about maybe a couple of days later maybe three or four days later she replies and says okay i'm sorry probably i was rude uh i shouldn't have uh, put you off like that so let me introduce myself first and so she i think she just told me her name and something uh, something real quick and so I was excited when she replied and from there I just started you know like uh, reaching out introducing myself sending her these messages and and then the next thing you know we we're exchanging email addresses and then phone numbers and then I went she was living in Maryland I was in California she was in Maryland and then I went a couple of times to visit her um, and then the next thing you know, I'm putting a ring on her. And then she came uh, to, vis to visit me in California once before, before the wedding. And then we, I went to Maryland for the wedding. And as they say, the rest is history. 
but um, what I wanted what I want to say is that it came at a time and in a way that I didn't expect um, for me the other thing that I want to also state that I cannot um, uh, emphasize enough is as somebody that knows God I prayed about I always would tell God God I need somebody I want to find somebody it's something that I prayed about and so for me my belief is that it is God himself that uh, was preparing her was preparing me and the one who in his ways orchestrated things to take place the way they took place yes I did have a part to play Yes, she did have a part to play because if I hadn't reached out to her, probably I wouldn't, we wouldn't, I wouldn't be married by now. Actually, one of the things that she said that, um, that really impressed her was the fact that when, when, when I befriended her, I got straight to the point. I wasn't about trying to, to joke or play around games. I was just, I knew what I wanted and I was straight to the point. At least that's what she tells me, that that's one of the things that impressed her, that I, I seemed to know what I wanted and I seemed to be to the point. I wasn't just trying to look for, to, for somebody to play around with. That is one of the things that impressed her. And so I think in all this, what I'm saying is that if you are out there and are wondering how will things happen, if you believe God, one, I'm hoping that you are praying about it. But secondly, I'm just saying that um, there are opportunities around us. You may have relatives that know people that that could you can be connected to. For example, in this case, if I hadn't seen her picture in my relatives' uh, um, uh, pictures, I wouldn't probably be with her. And by the way, the way the relationship, uh, those relatives. Her, her uncle is married to my to my aunt. That's how, by the way, that relationship is. Like that's how we somehow we met. Even though we didn't know each other, there was already a relationship uh, between um, my aunt and her uncle. They are married. But um, at the end of the day, what I'm saying and why I want to encourage you is because. I remember how those times were when things were hard and you are, you are thinking you are all alone uh, on the road and you don't know how things are going to happen. And I always look back and I say, really, this is the hand of God. Because it came at a point that I didn't expect it. It came um, in a way that I didn't expect but it did happen and six years, I'm happily married, um, I'm, I'm growing more and more in love with her because when you think about it we didn't have even time whereby like we were we were dating for we were dating for like what around two years but long distance relationship you know like long distance dating we didn't have that you know like relationship where we are always seeing each other so the, even these six years it's more like getting to learn each other and enjoy each other and know each other so it's really been wonderful and um, I just want to encourage you uh, if you are out there whether you're a female or a male just know that um, the right time will come don't give up hope um, stay open um, for example if my wife had just put me off uh, probably she would still I don't know we, one thing is we wouldn't be together so i don't know if i would be, have somebody if she would have somebody but i'm saying be open know what you are what you want also because um even though i was looking for somebody i also knew what i was looking for in that even those years where i was even a truck driver there are opportunities that came people that came into my life that seemed like potential but I also knew what I was looking for in that those those people, I did not end up with those people because I already had an idea of what I'm looking for. So know what you're looking for, but at the same time, be open. Uh, when you have an opportunity to, uh, to go out at an outing, maybe a church function, maybe a party, uh, as maybe friends with a, uh, relatives I don't know what the situation is but what I'm saying is don't give up hope there is hope 
things will happen i know when you are going through it it looks like nothing is gonna happen but i promise you um it will happen so since today was my is my special day i just wanted to remember how it was before um i got uh, my wife and before the wedding and then i just wanted to take time to encourage uh, my fellow uh, drivers even other people that are not uh, truck drivers as long as you are in that uh, uh, place whereby you feel like you want to get married but you just don't seem to find the right person uh, just keep your hope uh, if you're a Christian even if you're not a Christian by the way pray about it believe God that uh, he can help you out and I promise you he will all right guys I need to go until next time stay blessed and stay safe Bye-bye.